Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Art of Fighting on the Sega Mega Drive. In my case, it's more like the art of losing, but it's always fun to get your ass kicked on the Mega Drive. No! You heartless bastard, you've destroyed my picture! Do you have any idea how long it took me to find a frame that would fit that? This cowardly act will result in numerous fist fights in The Art of Fighting. From 1993, for your Sega Mega Drive for Sega Genesis. This one was originally released in 1992 on the Neo Geo, and while the Neo Geo version is better, the Genesis one or Mega Drive version is way cheaper. Or at least it was back in the day. These days, the art of fighting the first one shouldn't cost you that much on the Neo Geo. I love the backgrounds in these games. They always take place in these sleazy early 1990s clubs. They look like just the kind of place I'd like to hang out and enjoy a $15 martini. What can I say about an SNK fighting game that I haven't said before it's technical, it's challenging, but it's always fun. And I think this one looks good on the Genesis or the Mega Drive. This is the Japanese Mega Drive version, which was sent to the show by Al from the lovely city of Chicago, Illinois. Thank you, Al. You can also find this on the American Genesis, and if you're looking for a good old school SNK game, one of the really old ones, here you go. Choose one of two characters and play through the storyline, beating up everyone that gets in your way until your picture frame is avenged. Good-looking backgrounds and, hey, Robert, that's a sweet car. Like a combination Ferrari Testarossa, Acura NSX, and Pontiac Fiero. On, I don't really know what that is. But you've got to admire Robert's 1990s style. On, like Steven Seagal with purple hair. I find him to be the faster, more nimble of the two characters. You can also play this game two-player against a friend with all of the characters from the game. I always find it interesting to see a Neo Geo game on the Sega Genesis, because as much as I love the Genesis, or the Mega Drive in this case, The Neo Geo was just a far more powerful machine. So sacrifices always had to be made visually and in the sound department. This is not a very good sounding game. As you're beating the crap out of your opponent, you may notice there's a spirit bar, which is the green bar under your health. The spirit bar is depleted when you pull off special moves. And I think there's a super special move, but like most of these games, I could never figure it out. The way that I play fighting games is, like a coward, I jump around the screen and kick people in the head, occasionally shooting fireballs, just to keep them on their toes. My years of experience playing as Chun-Li, jumping around the screen, irritating my friends. It works well on this game. You jump, you kick, you grab your opponent and throw them over your back like a sack of potatoes and then stomp on them and deep fry them later and make potato chips out of your enemies. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not included. It's DLC. For that feature, you need the Sega Net. And once again, thank you, Al in Chicago. It's Art of Fighting for the Mega Drive and the Genesis. As always, thank you for watching. Classic Game Room is on Patreon. Classic Game Room Barware is at ClassicGameRoom.com. And my books, Surf Panda, Jesus the Coked Up Chicken Number 2, and Retro Megatrex are on Amazon. Dot com. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano! Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.